what's up guys how's it going welcome back to my channel uh today i realized that i haven't really talked about what kind of music i like which is a little silly because i love music so much it is a huge huge part of my life so today i want to do this song challenge that i came across on the pop punk amino app um it's basically just like a bunch of questions about what kind of songs or like music or bands you're into right now. So I thought I'd just go through that and give you guys kind of more of an idea of like what kind of music I'm into. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So what is your favorite artist at the moment? Right now I am really into Moose Blood. Um, I just started listening to their newest album, Blush. Uh, started listening to it about, I want to say like two weeks ago. And I'm really, really feeling that right now. Um, for whatever reason, it kind of reminds me of like Blink-182. I don't know why, because I feel like their lyrics aren't really even the same. Um, but something about them, especially uh, the first song, Pastel, I get like weird uh, like Blink-182 vibes from it. Uh, so right now, that's who I'm really into. Uh, right now, I'm also really into another band called Pinata Protest. Uh, they are a band from Austin, Texas. They focus on Chicano punk corridos, uh, which is something you don't really hear very often, but it's a lot of fun. I'm actually, I have a review coming up on their last album, El Valiente Soon, so look out for that, I guess. So, which band or artist do you own the most albums by? Definitely, hands down, some 41. Um, I have a bunch of their CDs. Half Hour of Power, All Killer No Filler, Does This Look Infected, Chuck, under a class hero. So I do not own Screaming Bloody Murder, but I do own 13 Voices. I picked this up when I was out in Boston on my road trip this fall. What was the last song you listened to? I am currently checking out NOFX's new West album that they came out with, so I was listening to Happy Father's Day. Uh, what's in your CD player right now? I don't really have a CD player, I have a record player, so the album, or I guess record that's in there right now is this one. I actually got to see them live a couple summers ago at Riot Fest when they were in Chicago. They are amazing. I love Jack Black and I love Tenacious D. They are one of my all-time favorite bands. What was the last show you attended? The last show I went to was Streetlight Manifesto. I saw them this summer, or this spring? I saw them earlier this year. Um, I've actually seen them live a couple of times and they're a lot of fun. I would definitely go check them out again. I feel like they come to Chicago every year or like every other year. They are on, they're still on their never ending tour. So I'm not really sure when that's gonna end. Probably never. What was the greatest show you've ever been to? Uh, probably hands down, 21 Pilots. I saw them last year with my two friends Seth and Dan and we drove from Chicago up to Minneapolis to see them because they were playing in Chicago, but they were playing at Lollapalooza, and none of us are really into big crowds, so we just wanted to go up and see them at a smaller venue, which definitely was the better choice because we got to be pretty close to the stage, and the show was amazing. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Um, my runner-up to Greatest Show I've ever been to would be Rise Against. I have seen them probably about like three times. Um, I would definitely see them again whenever they come back to Chicago. They are a lot of fun. Um, they're one of those bands where like everybody in the crowd knows all the words to all their songs. Uh, plus they're from Chicago, so going to a hometown show is definitely like the most fun. But what's the worst show you've ever been to? Definitely brand new. Uh, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Um, I went and saw them when I was probably right out of high school. I went and saw them with my friend Eddie and I did not have fun at all. Like, they were not very interactive with the crowd at all. They just didn't really seem like they wanted to be there. Um, and, you, you know, some, most bands are like, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome, we're excited to be here, blah, blah. Um, there was none of that. Like, I don't even, I don't even remember really what songs they played. Um, yeah, I just didn't have a good time. They didn't seem like they were having a good time, uh, which is a big factor for me, so. Uh, sadly to say brand new is definitely like the worst show I've ever been to. So what's the most musically involved you have ever been? Um, I was really musically involved while I was in school um, from sixth grade all the way up to my sophomore year. I was in band or like a school band. Um, I played saxophone, clarinet, and uh, 
oh, the stupid little recorders that they make everybody play in public school for some reason. And then when I got into high school, I started taking piano, guitar, and um, I try to play drums, like I try to get on the drum line, but I don't have really great hand-eye coordination, so that did not work out at all. Um, currently, I have a ukulele that I haven't really touched since I bought, so yeah, I just haven't really had time to pick up learning a new instrument. I would really like to learn to play on a ukulele because I bought it, but we'll see. What show are you most looking forward to? I am looking so forward to seeing 21 Pilots again. Um, I'm gonna see them in January when they are back in Chicago for their second and a half leg of their Emotional Roadshow tour. So I'm super excited. We're gonna see them in a big arena, which is definitely different from when we saw them in Minneapolis. We're pretty close to the stage then. This time we're gonna be pretty far up. So I'm excited to see how different the show is. Like if they keep the same routine, um, and if they do what it looks like from a distance. So I'm super excited. Um, what is your favorite band shirt? I have three. Um, so I have this guy. It is my Streetlight Manifesto shirt that I bought at the concert that I went to this year. I also have this guy. Uh, Taking Dawn is a smaller metal band. I would refer them back to like They are a modern band with an 80s metal band twist. I guess I would probably compare them more to like Black Sabbath and like Pierce the Veil, I guess. I don't know. It's Pierce the Veil metal. I'm not really sure. My genre lines are always really blurred um, And then the other one that I really like which is not technically merch because I didn't buy it from the artist this Selena tank top I love, I wear this like all summer, it's so cool. Basically Selena's name with Slayer's logo. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's super cool. One musician or group you wish would make a comeback? Um, I don't really know. I feel like the standard answer, or like a, a, the answer that like a lot of people give is My Chemical Romance. Uh, however, I personally, please don't kill me, um, I don't know if I would want them to come back. I don't think I want them to come back. I feel like they broke up at such a good time that if they did come back, I don't know if I'd like their music. I don't think it would be any good. Uh, I could be totally wrong. They could make a comeback and it could be amazing, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I want them to come back. A band that I do want to make a comeback though, uh, which they kind of did. I'm not sure if they have made like an official comeback or if they just reunited for this one show uh, this past summer. But uh, Los Crudos is a local Chicago punk band and they are super big in the Latinx punk community. Um, I would love it if they got back together. They broke up a while ago actually um, and then they all went and did like individual projects. A lot of them are still like active in the music scene, but I would like to see them get back together like as a band to come up with new music, especially with like the shit year we've had in politics this year and like how much that all negatively affects people of color. Like that's what they sing about. Like they sing about poverty and they sing about the issues that like people of color face, especially Latinx people and like poor communities. I think it would be amazing if they came back. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. What's one band or artist you wish to see live that you have never seen? Um, Green Day. I've never seen Green Day live. I think they'd be a lot of fun. I like their music a lot. The problem I have with like seeing Green Day is that I feel like they are way too big to just come and do a show at like the House of Blues. So I feel like they would probably do like a big arena tour like 21 Pilots is doing right now. Um, so I don't know if I will ever actually see them unless they come back and do like a small venue tour. Name four or more flawless albums. Uh, I don't like this question. I'm really, really hesitant about calling bands um, or albums flawless because I feel like every album has at least one song that you're not too thrilled about. However, uh, the ones that are coming up off the top of my head would be Demon Days by the Gorillas, um, Faya by Faya, American Idiot by Green Day, uh, Somewhere in the Between by Streetlight Manifesto, um, oh, and the Blue Album by Weezer. How many music related DVDs slash videos do you own? Um, I don't own any DVDs or like concerts on video or whatever because I 
don't really see the interest in it. Uh, I don't know. I would rather just like go to the show, I guess. Um, what I am really into is books. I have this stack of music books right here. Words Will Break Cement by Pussy Riot. A Pretty Good Read, which is an unofficial biography on Modest Mouse. Don't Shoot, I'm the Guitar Man. I am Ozzy, <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Strange Things Happen, Heavy Metal in Baghdad, Rotten by Johnny Rotten. Last Train to Memphis, which is about the rise of Elvis Presley. So those are all the musical books I have. I feel like I have more, but I don't know where they are at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I like to collect. I like to collect books because I love knowing about artists and bands and how they started. Um, I love reading like biographies, not biographies, and memoirs and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm really into. That collection is definitely going to keep building as I get older, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably update that later on in the future, a couple months from now maybe we'll see. What else I have added? So how many shows or concerts have you been to total? I have no idea. Uh, so the deal with that is that I used to work for a metal website that focused on metal music and like all the different subgenres of metal. Um, so I would go out to like all these concerts, whatever concerts they told me to go to, I would go and I would shoot those for them. Um, then a couple of years later, I was working for a website or music website that kind of focused more on like indie kind of hip music. So whatever concerts they needed shot, I would go out and shoot for them. Um, so between all of that and then on top of like going to like whatever concerts I went to just for myself, I have no idea how many concerts I've actually been to. So bands that I know for sure that I've seen are uh, Linkin Park, Belly Talent, My Chemical Romance, Taking Back Sunday, uh, Event Sevenfold, Bullet for My Valentine, uh, Town to Get Down, Stay Down, I Am Dynamite, Taking Dawn. Dragon Force, uh, Blind Guardian, 21 Pilots, Brand New, uh, Sum 41, Kurt Vile, Waxahati, System of a Down, uh, Tenacious D, Modest Mouse, The Just Luckies, The Papers, Streetlight Manifesto. I lost track on my fingers. Um, it's definitely over 22 that I've seen, um, plus whatever bands I shot for like the con uh, for the websites. So I've been to a ton of concerts, and still the worst I've ever been to was brand new. Ugh. Who have you seen the most live? I have seen Rise Against the most. Oh, Rise Against. That's not the concert I went to. Um, Rise Against and Bad Religion. I have also seen. Um, but Rise Against is the band I've seen the most. Um, I've seen them three times, I think, and I would go again. They are so much fun. I love them. Oh my god. What is your favorite movie soundtrack? Oh, such a hard question. I love movies. So, basically any Disney movie. Um, but my top favorite uh, soundtrack, Disney soundtracks, would be the Goofy movie, Hunchback in Notre Dame, and Lilo and Stitch, maybe? Then, yeah, Lilo and Stitch has a good soundtrack. Um, and then like just in general movie soundtracks, um, Juno has a really cute soundtrack, so that's 500 Days of Summer, um, Moulin Rouge is a really good fun one, ooh, so is Chicago, Pirates of the Caribbean has <laughs> a fun soundtrack, um, SLC Punk has an amazing soundtrack, uh, Moondog Saints has a really good opening song, um, I don't know if they're, I wouldn't say like their whole soundtrack is amazing, but they have a really good opening song. Um, yeah, there are a ton of movies um, that have really good soundtracks, but I guess those are my favorite ones. What was your last musical phase before you wisened up? Uh, I don't go through phases. <laughs> that sounds really stupid. Um, I don't really consider it that I go through phases. Um, any music that I used to like, I still like, for the most part, I guess. Um, I, when I was younger, I listened to like a lot of rap and hip hop, and then I started listening to like rock and alternative music, and then I was listening to like, you know, a ton of like Britney Spears and NSYNC and like whatever was on a top 40, I guess. Um, and then like My Comic Romance and Fall Out Boy and like all those. Panic at the Disco, like all those bands that like were around that time. 
then I got into like a lot of ska and a lot of folk punk. Um, then I kind of like got back into like the top 40s because I was working at a amusement park, so like that's all they would play. Um, now I still kind of listen to like top 40s stuff, like whatever's on the radio I'm generally okay with. Um, I still listen to like a lot of pop punk, I listen to a ton of ska, I listen to a lot of folk punk. It's like what, I don't think I go through phases. Um, I don't even think I went through like a country phase or anything. I don't know, I don't think I've like wisened up. I think I just like appreciate music in different ways. What's your guilty pleasure that you hate admitting? I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Um, I wholeheartedly like everything that I like. Um, and I don't think you should be ashamed of anything that you like, like it's music. Who cares if like it's Britney Spears and you normally listen to like Metallica? Like who cares? Who cares? It's so annoying that people are like have to like feel like they have to hide like the kind of music that they like. It's so annoying. Last question: What are the top three songs played on your iTunes? I don't use iTunes. I use Spotify. Um, so the top three songs on my Spotify are. Irish Goodbye by The Men Singers, Goddamn I'm Dead Again by Sum 41, and Story of My Life by Social Distortion. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good range of music. Um, it definitely doesn't cover like my wide range of music taste, but I think it's a good start. I think it's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other video ideas for me to do. I do have a Pinata Protest video coming out soon, a review on their last album. I also have a top 10 favorite 21 Pilot songs video that I worked on that I'm still kind of putting together. It's really long, it's like a half hour. Um, and I don't want it to be that long, so I'm trying to see what I can do about that. Um, but yeah, I have some more stuff coming up. And thanks for checking out. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And comment down below if you like any of the songs I listed or if you have any band suggestions. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next week. Bye.